Hey, what's up everyone? Visual Intelligence here and welcome to another exciting Cinema 4D tutorial. So in this tutorial, uh, I'll be showing you guys how to create something um, like that. Uh, it's something really abstract, really uh, cool. Uh, I think you can uh, create this in a really short time. and. Uh, you know, just say it as your uh, background, maybe add a text uh, for your name or your channel's logo or whatever, and uh, yeah, it will be, it will look uh, great. Um, also, I'll show you how to kind of get the right render to set this whole thing up. So yeah, so with all that said, uh, let's go ahead and go to our Cinema 4D. Let's create a new document if you don't have a new document already which I suppose you do. Uh, the first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and add a tube as you can see and you can pretty much use any other uh, primitive for th for this uh, tutorial uh, I'm just gonna use this uh, kind of uh, uh, shape so yeah let's go to display and uh, make sure to have broad shading uh, lines well, because uh, we really need to see uh, all our polygons so next thing you ne we need to do is to reduce the uh, rotation segments to about 24 that look that's looking um, enough for me uh, so that's pretty much it for uh, for now uh, maybe you want to add some fillet uh, but not too much maybe just one uh, segment and one centimeters because you'll be uh, you'll need this uh, round edge to kind of get a really cool lightning if you want to decrease the segments to about two and uh, I think that's enough now let's uh, go ahead and make it editable using this uh, uh, button or you can right click and do uh, make editable or you can just hit C uh, if you are like a um, cool uh, shortcuts guy <laughs> like me <laughs> whatever uh, I'm just kidding so let's go ahead and hit UL to get the uh, uh, let's go ahead and go to polygon mode first and uh, hit UL to get the loop selection let's uh, select this loop and uh, what we want to do we want to hit I for uh, extrude inner or you can right click and then choose extrude inner from your menu how we want to do, we want to uh, uncheck the preserve groups and then we want to extrude in a little bit just click and drag by the way, I'm not doing anything uh, really hard so that's looking pretty good, let's go ahead and right click and then hit extrude and this time not extrude inner, let's extrude in by, by clicking and holding uh, while uh, dragging to the left a little bit so yeah that's looking pretty good to me so what we want to do is we want to create a new material doesn't matter which material it, it is right now uh, I don't really uh, want to uh, mess with it for the moment so let's just assign it to our uh, polygons that are selected uh, this way we can just change the uh, material later on uh, so let's go uh, a little uh, quick tip maybe uh, so whatever next uh, step is we want to go to our top view by hitting F2 uh, maybe zoom in a little bit uh, we want to grab the uh, live selection tool we want to select some polygons maybe four or uh, I don't know just make them uh, spaced a hold shift to select multiple uh, polygons and uh, they are evenly spaced uh, in this uh, example uh, you might also want to select even more if you want just make them uh, evenly spaced uh, I think I'll go with uh, just uh, four for this tutorial so hold control and deselect the ones you don't want to have them selected so let's go back to our uh, perspective view uh, let's right click and then uh, extrude inner once more and uh, let's extrude a little bit inwards so that's looking pretty good let's right click and then um, 
texture it up a little bit. Control Z. Uh, make sure you have uh, some subdivision, so maybe like five will be great, and then you can go ahead and uh, extrude up a little bit as you can see now. So yeah, that's looking pretty dang good. So what we want to do is we want to uh, delete to delete the gaps because we don't really uh, need them. We don't uh, really need uh, the. Uh, gaps are in there so yeah that's looking pretty good so what we want to do is we want to go ahead and uh, go to our object mode we want to rotate it uh, 180 degrees and you can see I will see uh, why we are doing this uh, uh, what we want to do now is we want to go to our uh, plugins and uh, use drop to floor plugin and this will uh, drop it to uh, our floor as you can see or you can uh, go ahead and uh, place it manually but I really recommend you get the uh, plugin I'll be linking you guys to it on the description or the blog post so make sure to get that uh, to make life a lot easier also you want to go to our uh, access center if you don't have it uh, shift C and uh, access just type axis center and this will pop up and uh, yeah we want to go to our uh, y axis make it uh, 100 uh, and this will uh, make it uh, on the bottom as you can see so what you want to do is you want to control C control uh, or maybe not uh, you just want to uh, go and uh, grab a symmetry object so yeah drag the tube onto the symmetry object and uh, we want to change the plane to uh, x z so let's go ahead and do that and this will center it up for us so yeah that's looking pretty good uh, make sure to uh, hit the uh, make sure to have the weld point selected and uh, maybe we just want to keep it uh, as is for the moment uh, let's add a twist object and let's drag it under the symmetry object as a second child maybe uh, we want to go ahead and uh, fit to parent if you don't have that make sure to uh, just uh, increase the size for the X Y and Z just to make it fit the whole object uh, next step is we want to uh, weld the object a little bit and we don't really want to weld those so make sure to decrease the size on the y-axis to about here maybe change the uh, angle once more to something less yeah that's looking pretty good for me um, it's really uh, nice whatever we want to uh, select everything alt G to group it as a null uh, I don't want, I don't really want to see the uh, effector so let's go to filter and check the deformers uh, that's, that's better so let's name that uh, abstract shape or whatever I don't really name uh, objects to be honest control C control V to copy and paste uh, abstract shape one looks pretty good let's scale it down a little bit yeah that's looking really nice maybe scale it a little bit on the uh, y-axis or maybe a bit more as so yeah I think that's looking pretty good for the moment let's go ahead and see our other images uh, as you can see it's just the same as this one uh, maybe we just want to uh, add those um, uh, I don't know stuff let's add more stuff to our image so let's select everything alt G once more uh, to group it and uh, we want to go to our uh, plugin and then do drop to floor again so that's looking pretty good let's add a floor to our scene as you can see it's uh, on the floor 
uh, exactly on the floor, whatever. And uh, just maybe uh, decrease the size of the second one because we don't want to uh, we want to have more space in that. So yeah, let's go ahead and add a cube object. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, like that. We can use the uh, magic solo plugin to solo it uh, to make it. I don't know. Uh, look more. Decrease the uh, x and z size to the power of thirty. We want it to be squared, but really, really, really tall. So that's looking pretty good. Uh, maybe we also want to drop the floor this thing up. Uh, I don't know. Just be creative with that. Uh, it's all um, just user preference. Uh, we want to add some array. Let's add our cube on the array object. Uh, that's looking pretty good. Uh, maybe we want to go to our array and decrease the radius a little bit to something like that. Maybe we also want to drop the floor. Uh, as you can see, it's really helpful. This plugin, I really recommend you get it, uh, and it's also for free. Let's hit uh, Magic Solo to bring back our other objects, and then, and as you can see, it looks really sick. Um, all we need to do uh, right now is we, may, we might want to decrease the uh, size to about 20 centimeters for uh, X and Y. Uh, it's really thick for the moment. We want to maybe uh, control C, control V to duplicate it. Maybe we want to increase the uh, decrease the size quite a bit to something like that. Maybe uh, once again we want to decrease the size of that to maybe ten. Uh, maybe we want to decrease the Y size a little bit. Uh, again, go to plugin and drop the floor. Uh, maybe we want to increase the Y segments to uh, of this, and uh, this time we want to go ahead and add uh, another uh, effector. Let's go ahead and add a twist effector first. Let's fit to parent, and uh, let's twist this thing up a little bit. Um, maybe we want to have it like let's go to filter and uh, check the deformers uh, let's go ahead and make it a lot bigger uh, on the y-axis or maybe undo that and uh, do it on the uh, objects properties uh, we want to decrease the size quite a bit on that as you can see we also want to increase the angle and maybe we want to place it down a little bit as you can see something like that looks pretty good we want to add some more deformers to our uh, object so let's go to our tape make it under the twist object and uh, we want to fit to parent again and uh, what we want to do is we want to scale this whole thing up a little bit and uh, maybe we want to also scale it up and as you can see it looks really sick let's give that a render just to see how that looks um, uh, it looks crappy right now uh, I, won't, I won't lie to you guys but uh, it's really easy to kind of uh, make it look uh, a lot more uh, realistic so what we want to do is we want to go to our material and check the color and the uh, specular and, the, and make sure to all only check the luminance uh, make sure to uh, have the brightness of 200 200% and um, if we hit render right now uh, as you can see it looks brighter but it doesn't brighten up uh, other places or whatever uh, bottom line it looks really crappy so uh, let's uh, also uh, as you can see we want to decrease this whole thing down a bit decrease the size overall uh, I don't know just be creative with that let's go ahead and see how that looks yeah that looks pretty good to me 
we'll see how that looks uh, in quite a bit so don't worry about it um, yeah maybe we even want to remove that later on uh, I don't know let's go ahead and uh, go to our uh, render settings uh, it will be like a uh, window for you uh, like that so don't freak out just choose whatever uh, um, size you want that's I'm going with the uh, 1280 by 720 P let's go ahead and go to save uh, make sure to save it whatever you want maybe I'll just save it on uh, my uh, desktop or uh, this folder right there, right here why not so let's save it as whatever name you want I'll just put my name uh, 72 pixels per inch resolution looks pretty good and the LVC we want best maybe you want 2x2 for the uh, sake of this tutorial but you can go ahead and go with 4x4 or 8x8 if you want to go crazy with that let's go and add ambient occlusion and global illumination for the global illumination the interior preview works pretty good uh, even though it's only a preview maybe you want to decrease the gamma to 1.8 and um, if we uh, go to our uh, cameras let's go with an isometric view uh, like just as in the uh, image and let's hit render and see how that will look uh, as you can see it will take a little uh, time to render out since it's uh, uh, it's just the port view and uh, yeah and uh, at this point you can see that we need to have like uh, different material for uh, our object we want to have it like glossy material and as you can see it's really dark on the top so let's go ahead and uh, fix all these problems let's go ahead and add a new texture change the color to something really dark not absolutely black but really really dark go to our specular uh, increase the height quite a bit decrease the width uh, we want something like that we want to go to our luminance uh, maybe um, sorry it's our reflection channel we want to add some Fresnel or whatever uh, it's uh, pronounced just decrease those quite a bit we don't, we don't want crazy um, reflections or anything uh, so yeah that's looking pretty good but let's add that to our uh, things right there and as you can see it uh, kind of darkens up uh, some stuff so as you can see right there uh, we want to drag it as a first so this way this will be on the top of the luminance material so one more thing we need to do is we want to have some lighting from the top so let's go ahead and add some disk uh, maybe we want to increase the size quite a bit we want to add some material and we want to grab it up a little bit the material we added is the glowing material we need to add that so let's go ahead and um, maybe not on here but the port view let's render that out let's see how that looks as you can see from the uh, just the particles uh, render you can see that uh, it looks much brighter so as you can see it looks pretty good maybe the material is a little bit too dark so let's uh, double click it let's go to our color maybe you want some uh, uh, reddish uh, I mean bluish uh, gr gray whatever I think that look great also if you want to add uh, some more details you can go ahead and do that just add some more uh, some other tube uh, to scale it up whatever you you are uh, comfortable with and uh, decrease the width segments maybe to about 16 or whatever maybe you want to make it editable again you want to go to our polygon mode UL to select uh, a loop and uh, maybe you want to go ahead and 
do a matrix extrude uh, as you can see it looks really uh, crazy so you can go ahead and sweep that as you leave uh, maybe uh, you want to go to uh, whatever control you want and then just uh, just uh, mess with that as you want and make it look uh, really sick uh, whatever let's go ahead and add some material to that and let's uh, maybe we want to render that out again in a bit and uh, at this point it's just uh, user preference you can do whatever uh, you want you really will know the uh, basics of that you know how to light up scene which is great it's all you need to know uh, uh, I guess uh, as you can see it looks really crappy and ugly so I just uh, going to remove it whatever so uh, I think that's pretty much it for this tutorial make sure to uh, give us a like uh, subscribe to our channel and uh, also leave a nice comment uh, if you have any question make sure to ask that in comments also I'm, I uh, respond to pretty much all the comments so uh, yeah, with all that said, uh, peace.